is Zertastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be exploring the principle of design balance and more specifically we're going to be exploring radial symmetry with this art lesson that also is infused with spring. So grab your choice of art making mediums and a piece of paper and let's make some art. begin our artwork that is of some seedlings but it explores the principle of design balance through creating radial symmetry radial symmetry so it's symmetry it's opposites or a mirrored image but it is radial so we also have diagonal mirrored lines included so no matter what way we turn it it is radial all right, so what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna fold our paper. So you could choose to use a ruler, but we're gonna actually start off by folding our paper so we can create this lovely spring-inspired artwork. So we're gonna fold in half, and we'll get one line on there. And we're also going to bring it up to each corner to make some diagonal lines. So one corner to one corner, Nice straight line, and another corner to another corner. Opposite corners, boom, straight lines. So now I have my paper split up into one, two, three, four, five, six sections of symmetry. Now if you wanted to, you can also add a line in the middle. That will make it extra complete if you want, and that way it's all going to be equal parts. All right, so I'm gonna begin now. You might not be able to see all my lines perfectly. They are there. Maybe you can see it a little bit better like that. All right, we got some radial symmetry to make. Let's go. Okay, grab your choice of art making medium now. We are going to be creating, again, a seedling, a plant baby, a seedling um, artwork. But again, it is inspired by the principle of design balance and also inspired by spring. We're just gonna bring all these things together while exploring radial symmetry, radial symmetry. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start off in the first quadrant. You can pick whatever quadrant you want and we are going to draw the same thing the amount of times we made sections. All right, so we're gonna do a seed lean in each one. So I'm gonna draw two parallel lines, lines that are equal distances apart. Then I'm gonna add some little baby roots. Not too many, it's just a baby plant, it doesn't have that many roots yet. It takes some time to grow. Then I'm gonna bring up a line up on each side to make a sort of letter V. Bring it back down, just like that, on each side to make little baby stems for their first leaves. Now, when plants grow, their very first leaves are kind of like, just like the halves of the seed that it was in. It's not its true leaf yet, so then the second set that comes out is a plant's true leaf. This is just kind of a starter set to get a plant go growing. All right, add a leaf on each side. You can make your own design of a leaf or just make a nice simple curving up to a point shape just like that. And then we have to, of course, add some leaf texture on each one. And then we're gonna do this. We're gonna go from one line and add curving lines all the way to the other. Okay? We're gonna do that all the way around. <laughs> okay, start off with two parallel lines. And we're gonna try to make it the exact same. So whatever you did on the first one, you're gonna try and mimic again. And so it's gonna go off the page, no big deal. Okay, and of course, continue that dirt around. Turn your paper to parallel lines. Add your little roots two stems for the leaves, add two leaves with some leaf texture, 
and continue that dirt around. Whoosh, here we go. Two parallel lines. With some baby plant roots. Two stems. Two leaves. Continue the dirt with your wavy lines around. All right, so I have half done, okay? And no matter which way I fold it, it's almost the same on each side, right? So we're continuing it around and around and around. Here we go. Now it's not perfectly cement perfect, but it is getting the gist of some lovely symmetry and a very cool plant theme. Simple design, but when you repeat it, right, so this is also repetition, when you repeat the shape or your image over and over, it's starting to create a beautiful artwork, right? Okay, moving on. I guess I didn't really need to turn it around, do I? Okay, here we go. Two stems, just like that, with some roots. Add your plant leaves and some leaf texture and continue the dirt around. Once you're done drawing them, your lovely radial symmetry plants are ready to be colored. So you can grab your choice of art making mediums and colors and go ahead and color them in. And 
Once you're done coloring in your lovely artwork, your artwork that explores the principle of design balance and radial symmetry is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently, but it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use and you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons, all the holidays and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design and art history and so much more my friends. It's a fabulous resource so check it out if you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom. You can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com in that search bar just click it and you can type in Ms. Artastic same as this YouTube channel. There I am you can click that and that's going to bring you to this page and you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down scroll and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new or if you go down to the side here you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click activity books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out. Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers and thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic signing